All right, full disclosure, this is a separate recording on a separate day. Um, just wanted to get that transparency out of the way. So, here we go. All right. Let's see what this bitch will give us. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Uh-huh. We can discuss this in the living room. Related to Rebecca Black? Oh, I did not just go there. <laughs> uh, I love stealing jokes. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. Ooh. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe Did your you? husband may be injured. Did we you found a really? Pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh no! My poor Oh, Adrian. don't give me that Does shit. We all know you fake emotions. You all mean? of you people. Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Liar! I saw your face. Just outside the kitchen window. Mm -hmm. At the side of the house. Likely story. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. <laughs> My partner and Basically, kind of a bullshit back. lie to tell me. That's what I'm telling you right now. For you. Is that okay? <sighs> of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give enough of that bullshit. I know what you're Let's about, bitch. I know what you're fucking about, you stupid. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it, because I'm wearing a tuxedo no, or a suit of some kind. So. Uh, so, that dictates my speech somehow. Anyway, I gotta hold up to some nebulous bullshit standard. What? Okay. Anyway, let's go search. Ooh. A photo. Alright, apparently we got nothing from that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I think I figured it out. Tell me if I'm a genius, everyone. <gasps> no. Oh, wait. Whoops. Oh my god, I'm so... I'm such a genius. Nope, never mind, this really is just a photo. And apparently he had no comment for that. Alright. Hmm. Really nothing here? I thought I remember something here. Oh, okay, it's like tugging me away from here, what the hell? It's kind of weird, alright. Uh, let's just see if there's anything in this room. I don't... If I recall... I don't think there is, but... You idiot, Cole. Leave the detective word to me. God damn it. Really, Cole? Really? Nothing significant. No shit, nothing significant, you fucking idiot. Oh my god. That's probably worth like a penny. If even. Let's see. Oh. Ticket to Seattle and a suitcase got missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. From Los Angeles to Seattle. <gasps> We're in Los Angeles. Oh my god, that means it was someone from this house. Or city. But who could it be? I mean, it could be anyone from the city. Holy shit. We can't just limit it to people here. I mean, that would be ridiculous. What is here? Oh, you're right. That is kind of fishy. <gasps> to my... To my Adrian. Love sick and lonely with... More and more love sick and lonely without you. Hurry back, my darling. Nicole. XX. Hmm. Interesting. This must be Adrian's. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. I thought I wanted me to like zoom in somewhere. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. <sighs> right, because the glasses were stencil, that's correct. Great observation, Cole. Uh not like I wouldn't have figured it out, like <laughs> in just another two seconds. Kavanaugh. So who brought this home? Oh no, cigarette matches. What the fuck does that matter? Maybe Adrian was a patron. I should have an address. Okay, I guess we're gonna go to the bar and ask them as if they would fucking know anything. But alright. 
Um, let's see. This is the case of the missing cigarette matches. So if you saw, there's a few missing there. Um, all right. Hmm. Which one is most likely to be relevant to this case? Aha! Wait. Cole, would you, like, take a good hard look at it before you make assumptions like that, you freaking idiot? Oh my god, you call yourself a detective. Look at that. Do you see that top part of the spoon there? It's shaped like a skull. Do you see that? It looks kind of like a brain, you know, the, the, the very toppy part. I think that that's symbolism for something, you know. Doesn't tell me anything. I don't know what. I'm not gonna even allude to anything particular, but you know, just throwing it out there. Nope. <sighs> How are we gonna get anywhere if you just make these brass assumptions about you know very likely possible leads, you dumb fuck? All right, news story. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. So, girlfriend of Courtney's. Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions, these blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. I just like to point out this guy is totally not a villain in any way. You can clearly tell by his face and his smile. I think this guy's the real protagonist, actually. I think we're gonna find that out later on. Do a plot twist. Cole is the real villain here. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, cigarettes, match, another cigarette pack there, whatever. Packet, match packet, anyway. Insta-heat. Oh, now we reduce ourselves to looking at pamphlets, really? Really, Cole? Oh my god, Cole. This is not the time. Oh, yeah, yeah great. You found a flyer. Good job, idiot. What did you get? What did you deduce from that? Nothing. You fucking moron. This was only recently installed. Not two days ago. Maybe so it's time we took a look around outside. Less than two days ago? Could have just said that, Cole. Let's see. Oh. Oxydol. That sounds villainous. Optimistic, Cole. Optimistic? Isn't that a good thing? Optimism is a good thing. Not all objects are relevant. Oh, fuck you then. God damn. Alright. Hmm. So I think we looked everywhere. Wait, why did this close? Okay, whatever, we're gonna go outside. Let's see. So we gotta go look at some sort of pipe thing. Oh. Flowers. Brilliant. Yeah. Anyway. Ooh. No use leaving the thing half finished. <laughs> right. Oh, the first puzzle of the game. Okay, this is really gonna test my wits here. Alright, uh, this one, because it's small, I like small things. Oh my god, I'm an intellectual. Oh hell yeah, I am. Oh yeah, that's right. You stick it in there, insert it. Oh yeah. Insert these pipes yourselves. So the 
pipe missing from Mr. Black's here is the same one that killed him. Huh. It, is it? it? Seems like the assailant is a little closer to How do you know? I mean, we got that pipe, but it could be a completely different pipe. You never know. Could this call just be a coincidence, Cole? Ever thought about that, huh? Huh? All right, let's go back inside. Uh, all right, bitch, trying to talk. I'm all right. Yeah. Get a statement from Mrs. Black, but go easy. Okay. On. She's had a rough day. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, space. I'm, I'm doing it, idiot. Okay, stupid game. Uh, hmm. You seem very concerned. Maybe not concerned enough, though. Tell me about the slaughterhouse receipt. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Hmm. Okay, well... What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. How shady? I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. Like... They're always out drinking together. How much would you have to shade him in if you drew him? Like, is he... Is he that... Shady? Hmm. Oh yeah, the photograph signed a call, huh? Wait, how do you, what do you have to say about that, uh, uh, what's your face again? Margaret Black, huh? Haven't been, uh, haven't been, uh, oh, I, I don't know. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Mm-hmm, <laughs> you haven't been put enough, have you? <laughs> Uh, well, let's see here. You just weren't... You know, your supply just wasn't good enough for Adrian's demand. Sorry, lady. Just how it works sometimes. Let's see. Um... Okay, hold on. Let me just make sure... There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. No, I don't. I've told you what true. I know about the picture. Oh, have you now? Huh? Huh? Um. So. What about the cold? Okay, good. Was your husband going to leave you for her? I'm kind of not sure when the game. Like, that's one of the things about this I game is that uh, I'm sometimes... He thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. R really? You just sense them? I don't know if he intended to leave me... I think that's just intuition. Or... God only knows. Perhaps he's just... I hope he wants it's pretty obvious. <laughs> well, it's good that you're compassionate. Despite all the hardship. I'm glad for that. Margaret. But, um, oh yeah, so, sometimes I'm, like, not sure about this game. Like, I'm not sure, like, sometimes with some questions, like, which direction this game kind of wants you to go. It's not very clear on that sometimes, at least for me. And I've, I've heard other people say that, too, so, I mean. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank Thurston. Well, that seems pretty truthful to me. So nothing out of the Nope. Wait, why am I answering for her? He came home Shut early up. from work. He never comes home early. Oh, really? And he went out Perhaps. early, too. Ooh. Drug deal. He never leaves for the bar till about seven. Oh. Damn. So when did he leave this time? Huh? Dates are important. Uh, times are... Ti dates and times are important here, lady. Tell me. Cough it up. Come on. Maybe are you trying to find my husband? Damn, you're impatient, aren't you? Was your husband right, wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Seems like everyone is in this yes, game. Yes, he just bought a new pair. Wait. Hold on. That's a lie, Margaret. You know exactly what Perry was wearing because you were there. Okay, no. 
You're being flat out ridiculous now. <laughs> no. Why don't you show me some proof where I was supposed to be? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can't. Uh, let's just make sure I don't click the left click by accident. <laughs> oh God, stupid. Um. So. Nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Uh, let me just look back for a second. Sometimes I like to look back. I'll try not to do this. As, I'll try to do this as little as possible, but... Um... Hmm. He just bought a new pair. They did seem new, didn't they? Okay. Or I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Oh, aren't you superficial? Your husband I don't take kindly to that. Bar. How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Well, I don't think. Okay. Well, Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Oh, yeah, really? Huh. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? Can you? You're not huh? accusing me, are you? Maybe I am. What an awful thing to say! Well, just the way it I works, bitch. All night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Uh. Yeah, that seemed pretty truthful to me, but uh, let me just make sure there's no kind of evidence here that I could maybe fuck. <sighs> mm. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. Aha! I was here alone. But I believe you, apparently, so. <laughs> I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. But he never came home. It's because you're a we'll woman. You informed, Mrs. Black. I try not to be we discriminatory. While being discriminatory by doing that. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Time to use his telephone. Operator yeah, I feel like we're brushing through this out. pretty fast. I don't know. I played this through this a couple out. of times, but... Not, uh, not, uh, not, any, not all re not any time recently, but... Really, so How can I help, detective? this won't be like I totally address, like I, I know bar. everything that's going on Certainly kind of thing. But I mean, I still Kavanaugh's had to. Bar, of side of Union Station. Thanks. I still have to think about those answers a bit, so you know, totally legit. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm done with this shithole. Oh my god, get out of my way, partner, idiot. Oh yeah, we can make him drive. I'll drive. This time. As the game progresses, I might start taking advantage of that more, because it gets annoying to drive a lot, so... Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest year. No, they don't. She's too much of a shrinking violet to throw them out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. She sure as hell doesn't seem to type. Yeah, unless it just came out of nowhere. Just like it's an off psychotic rage. Yeah, no, fuck you. I don't care about dispatch calls. They can go die for it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm on the case. I only focus on the important cases, the ones that get me recognition. That was totally legal for me. Oh shit! Okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna jump cut and it did, but. Alright. <laughs> Love how that happens. I know you. No, you don't. We were at school together. How about you buy me a drink for all time's sake? I'll call. Come on, why won't you? I would. You asshole. 
Uh, I'll buy you a Cola King. Don't worry, I'll buy you a drink, buddy. Even if my character doesn't want to. Well, why would he just instantly think that? Well, okay, I guess I do look like a faggot. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. Oh, well, you're very nice to him, huh? Asshole. Huh? Hold on. I'm gonna finish with you. Ain't about a drink. Come on. The barkeep doesn't have all the answers. Leave me be. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Frank Morgan? Who's ass? Hmm. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? Hmm. No, I hadn't heard that. Tough friend. <laughs> you seem very concerned. Totally believable. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? A lot of blood. He's probably dead. I mean. Oh, no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good no, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually <laughs> believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Well, no, I don't, obviously. Uh. Oh, yeah, right. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Well, uh, this doesn't really prove that you were there, but, uh, you know, I guess... Um, it does kind of link you, so where the fuck is it? Here you go. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and mail you. Oh, yeah. All right, already. That fool Adrian's falling for some dame in Seattle. Oh, jeez, that was fast. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. We cracked you really quick. All right. How do you feel about this now? Oh, stoic, eh? Where exactly Won't be stoic is for Black long. Not when you're doing me. No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. Didn't you just tell me he was stoic? Yeah. No thanks right now. Ciao. Anyway, didn't he just say that? Didn't he just say that he was holed up somewhere? Like, what the fuck? Okay. Uh. So you think he's in Seattle? Hold on. Lies, lies, and more lies, Morgan. You know where he is. What have you got that says I know where he is? Uh. Uh. Um. Um. Not, nothing really. <laughs> okay. Looks like I was mistaken. All right. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it, or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. So yeah. Up at my place. Didn't you say that? I don't. I'm confused. Did you say he was pulled up somewhere already? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Maybe I forgot. Apartment number two. Or didn't catch that very well. I, think that's I don't all. know. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Oh, I'm sure you do, Cuff buddy. Them, let them go. It's up to you, Phelps. No way I'm right. That's okay. I hate cops, cops too. <laughs> That's why I am one. Fight the system from within. Uh. Now nah, we can let him go. I'm laid back. You're getting nothing more from me. Oh, yeah, whatever, buddy. You're lucky I don't do anything. Actually, no, I'm okay with that. Broad has socks in it. Come on, I want I want a drink. Yeah, I do. That's why I'm like spacing on you right now. Hear that? Huh? You hear that? Fucking asshole. All right. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Oh. Where'd he go? It's a conspiracy. Oh my. Oh, there he is. Hey. Sorry, I couldn't get you a drink. On, just, just one drink. Oh, I'm sorry. The bartender's an idiot. Go oh, back. you're talking to her. This for all time's sake. Oh, we're not we friends. Fuck you. Wait. You fucking asshole. You got Let address? Ever, Let's get over to his Wait. apartment. Fuck you. I'm not even talking to you, you dumb boy. 
Yo, know, the bartender was being a douche, but now I don't even care. Fuck you. That's why I keep running away and coming back. Uh, like an idiot. Yes, let's. Yeah. All right. All right, Burn Gate, fat ass. People who sound convincing because they actually believe their own bullshit. Like me. Type is clever. Hard to catch up. Frank Morgan is not one of those people. No, he's not. Nah, I'm fine. Oh, come on. Let me K, go ahead. Hey, why do you have to be crossing the street right at that moment? For fuck's sake. Interesting. Well, I guess that makes sense. Pig, live receipt, or the pig, receipt of a live pig. And we got pig's blood in the car. They murdered a pig. I don't take kindly to that. You can only murder people, buddy, not pigs. I'm not okay with that. Kill humans all you want, but other animals? That's just going too far. No. I'll serve some justice on you. The Lord! The Lord! I don't know why I did that. Place I just out. felt like it. Just felt like doing the uh, good old uh, black preacher. F. Morgan. Morgan. Hmm. Alright, let's get the fuck up there. Look, look at me, double stepping like that. I actually used to do that a lot in real life. I think I still do. I don't know. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, here. The doorknob is gold, so so you know. Help you gentlemen? Just being an idiot. LAPD detective, Mr. Black. You're How do you know it's him? You don't know that. Oh wait, we saw a photo. Really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from LA. I won't put up the struggle. Just let me get my things. Uh-huh. Oh Do shit. It. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, I did not anticipate that. Oh fuck. Dude, every time like someone's like, hey, you know, you know what, man, you caught me. It's all good. All all fair and game. Whatever. You know, and then I'm thinking like, yeah, I agree. But nope. Apparently they don't. Apparently they're they just they just try to trick me. Well I guess they succeed, I'm an idiot, so why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say. I'm a little bit confused. Police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. How do you know you're gonna? How do you know he's gonna lose his wife? She was. She seems pretty forgiving. Um, a lot of assumptions by us, by our detectives that out here. To be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost as much as you. Case and in fine style too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation. Thanks, technique. moron. Good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You should go along. <laughs> Monkey learns from me. Fuck. <laughs> I'm doing all the work so far. Jesus Christ. This this department has not realized it yet, and I have. Like, I think that shows like who's more intellectually honest here. Just saying. Oh yeah, perfection. Woo. Adrian Black can look forward to his day in court and a beating from the LA press. Oh, okay. I was thinking like beating from all the rapists in prison, but <laughs> never mind. Oh, uh, oh god, that would be horrible. All right. Um, but yeah, the LA press. Well, I hope they don't actually beat. I don't, I don't think they. No, they couldn't. No. They mean that figuratively, Joe. All right. Uh, one thing I'm a little bit confused about, though, uh, was that 
unless I have some sort of, like, amnesia, did we not freaking let Frank Morgan go? I recall that Frank Morgan is supposed to show up to try to help Adrian escape when we let him go. Unless that's something different I'm remembering. Maybe if it's like I fail one of the questions, I don't know. Anyway, moving on.